In this uh, demonstration, we'll show you how to create an array. I'm doing this array in the globals area of scripts, so I'm not attaching it to any object. This allows me to run it at any time. Uh, basically, I, I need to create a container to hold the array. An array will allow you to hold a multiple actions within the one element on your list. Now, my array is going to be a string array, uh, therefore it will contain just about any information you like. Uh, basically, I've called it an array. Uh, I need an integer, so I've dimmed myself uh, uh, i as an integer. Now, an array needs to have an upper bound uh, maximum number that it can hold, so in this case I'm going to tell the array that it can have 10 items within its container. And if you see here, when we click uh, and we do a bit of a test, we can see there's my array in the debug screen, and I've got 10 items, and uh, literally they're empty because I haven't put any string. So now I intend to fill this array with some information. Uh, so I'm going to use my integer that I've declared earlier, and uh, basically say my integer is declared, and knowing that I can't take it past the bounds of the array, I've restricted it to 10 items. Okay, uh, And here, my array, as i goes through this for list, every time it goes up, the i will be incremented by 1 automatically. So uh, you'll see the outcome of where the i is in regards to the index of the array. Uh, so in, in this, I, uh, I'm now going to put some, a string into the array, as that's what I want it to hold. And you can see the outcome of this. There you go, and every time the I incremented up one, it literally put in some information into the array. Now we can uh, modify this somewhat to be a bit more useful than just I have ten items. Um, we can actually use the I to support a bit of an incrementation. Now as the I is a integer and the array is a string, I need to convert that I to a string uh, to show you that it will go in there and fit within the array as well. Now what I'm endeavouring to do here is let the I count upwards within the string as it goes up from a 0 to 10. And as you can see, it actually does exactly that. Now the only difference between a list or a string uh, array and a list array uh, is that we change the dim statement to make the uh, declare it as a, a list, and as you can see, uh, it doesn't have it. Really doesn't need an upper bound limit. Uh, we've just created one. 